Hey there, true believers. Rain Kisaragi here with more. Let's play the Ichiran Odyssey Project. Last time we died against Primeval. This time we're not gonna fight Primeval again. We're gonna do something else instead. Oh, yeah, before I forget. Update. Uh, update on the party. Everyone's level 70. Look at that. Level 70. Yeah. Except, uh, Mugen. He's level 40. But we'll, we need him for a thing. I'll get to that later. And Kiryu is level 64. Um, she isn't. Um, I actually reset um, Kira's skill points. That's why she isn't level 70 anymore. She was originally, but she's not anymore. Um, now she has um, some pretty okay stuff. But the thing that I've looked into that actually makes this uh, makes a bit of sense. Um, she has Axis 10 now. Uh, yes, Kira actually is a dual specialization a, a, a lynch neck now. She has she has crush. She lost her she lost her points in tornado because tornado is awful when you have all slash. But she's getting points in crush now. So lots of damage out of crush. That's kind of the kind of the draw of it. But we're here to take a particular yes this one particular quest the bandit's treasure because we need to do a thing and you're all gonna hang around with me for doing this thing. Technically, this is a quest to go fight a special boss, so I didn't want to uh, omit it from the Let's Play, because uh, it's a special boss. It's, it's important. Labyrinth's fifth floor. Alright. Me. Not activate sticky keys as the first. No! Piss off, Sticky Keys! I hate you! Fine, I guess I'll just go into the labyrinth then. Can I turn off that forever? That would be really cool if I could just turn that off forever. My god, alright. Okay, we need to go through the door on the fifth floor, which is right here. It's right here. That's the door. And then when we go through there, we go up to... We follow the snaking path and get up to here. We go through here, get down to there, to go up to uh, yeah here. There we go. And you go down, you go, and you go, and you go to right there. There's where we need to go. So we're just gonna just go because I have that shortcut open. So we're just gonna go. I don't have. I don't. Uh, I don't really feel like uh, feel like walking all that way because the uh, draw of why that's a challenge normally. Um, is because it's stuff that you wouldn't be ready to fight in the first stride. But since we're at the end of the game, it's fairly trivial. So let's just not. So we don't have to. <laughs> but um, this will also be a chance for me to show what m show what kind of things Mugen can do, because I've never actually shown off a Ronin and their abilities on the screen. I, I mean, we saw Mugen one-shot, like, not one shot, but solo FOEs, which is cool. But we never actually saw him in the party when I'm explaining what he's doing and what he's capable of. And we'll do that uh, in the fight that I'm going to work on. Or that we're going to get to, rather. <clears throat> His whole reason for being here, I suppose. Uh, we're going we're gonna to do that when we get there. But we need to get through these floors, so let's go ahead and through these floors without kicking sticky keys again. I hate you, sticky keys, and I hope that you die. Rain K, professional let's player. Alright, good. Not, not the only one that happens to you, though, but it's still embarrassing when it does. <sighs> Oh, yeah, before I forget also, uh, Mugen, he has pretty good gear. The Ruby Gage is the uh, Ronin Unique Hand Gear. It's pretty good. That's, that's really all I can say, it's pretty good. The Blood Helm is just the generic best, is the best generic helm. The Tiger Coat is the, uh, one of the best, one of the better armors that he had when I, you know, got him in the party, so it's it's fine. Up until I get the unique Ronin armor, which I need to beat a Terra Lich for, to get a skull off of it, so we'll see. And the Hachi, which is the third best katana in the game. It's it's pretty good. It's 215 attack, 15 luck, which is always handy. But it's not great. 
It's not, and it's not the best katana. The best katana actually comes from, and you guys are going to get a laugh out of this, Beating Primeval. He gives you the best katana, or gives you the thing to make the best katana. So, he, Mugen, if it comes to the plan where Mugen's in the party, he will not be wielding his best weapon. <clears throat> You'll probably be, be wielding this, the Hachi, because, um, well, the other weapon that's slightly not as good as Hachi, slightly better than Hachi, rather, is um, gotten from a bit of the Drake, the Frozen Bone, I think? From the Drake, which I have no desire to go farm off of the Drake. I really just, it's its more work than I want to put into this. <clears throat> so, you'll probably just be using the Hachi. <laughs> Unless I go fight Drake once and then just get the, th and just get the thing. Which I doubt will happen because of probability, but we'll see. If it comes to that, we'll see. There's an FOE down there now, look at him. Look at that FOE sitting there. Look at this one, the Mantis. We've ki we've killed his brothers in the desert, and now he wants to menace us for it. But I don't care about their weird, about their weird Mantis family. I'm after another, another prize. Now, why did we bring Mugen along with us? you all say, because Mugen is substantially weaker than the rest of the party. Why bring Mugen, uh, the black FOE, and the golem? The golem used flash and of course blinded the person I didn't want him to blind. Of course. But that's fine. Now, the way that Ronin work, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to explain this now, the way that Ronin work, they work uh, because they have uh, universal skills they can use, like uh, li uh, li uh, like uh, li uh, like the Ibuki, which heals him. It's very handy when solo grinding. Uh, Kesagiri, which is a generic heavy attack, basically. And then they have stance skills, like overhead. Now, what overhead is, uh, it, uh, is, it, uh, is a temporary self-buff uh, uh, when he assumes the stance, so to speak. So to say. So, when he assumes the overhead stance, he, he, be, he gets access to skills to be used inside that scans. Scans? Stance. Like, like this, Minareba. Minareba, in its, in its description, mentions the overhead stance. So to use Minareba, which we can't now, we have to be in overhead stance, and then we can unleash the deadly Minareba. That is the Ronin special ability that everyone knows them for, because it's awesome. But we're not going to be using it in this fight, because we have other plans. We need to use this stance to be able to use this move, because it's simple to get the gold to get the golems uh, to get the golem special drop. It's simple. We instant kill the golem. Yes, that's how you have to get the golem special drop. It's kind of bullshit. Um, actually, Todd, just don't do anything. I don't know why I brought you. I could have brought Rain and had a much easier time with things. Ah, good, his elemental defense increased. That lets Todd do a thing. And now, we can use this skill to hopefully instant kill the goal. Todd, do that. Okay. Glad that that went off before he whiffed his attack. Thank you, Sahony. Um, no buffs need to go back up. So we're just gonna spam this skill over and over until it finally works. That's kind of the plan here. Uh, the golem has the attack called three hit. It, um, I'll give you three guesses as to what the hell it does. It lets you, it lets him hit someone three times. It's kind of dickish. But that's right about all the golem can do. He can do that, and he can attempt to menace us. And Sony, you're not going to, and you're going to immunize. Todd, you're just go. Oh, I actually wanted Todd to uh, take away his buff, but whatever. Todd can hang out. That's fine. Ack. Ack, 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 ack. Right. Uh, well, you have to reapply your stance anyway, so that's that's fairly acceptable. Um, Todd?
How did you actually going to use an Amrita? Because I brought a bunch of Amritas. Because uh, Mugen is going to is going to need a lot of uh, a lot of casts of this skill to actually get the instant kill. But if he can get it, we'll do the thing that we want. So that's cool. That's just a matter of patience. Kill him in one shot, Mugen. Show us how big your balls are. Came out wrong. Stop that shit. No. Okay, now his physical defense is increased. That's that's the golem's other ability. He can make his defense go up, the bastard. So he can both increase his magic defense, which is his which is his weakness, and his physical defense, which is not his weakness, because he is a golem and therefore made of, made of stone. Generally, it's hard to break stone with a sword. You need to not screw this up. Alright. Eventually, Mugen will instant kill with this skill, and if it, does, if, it, if it doesn't happen in the course of this video, I'm going to be very upset. Um, actually, Ko, you're fairly slow. Okay, you have to reapply your buff anyway. Alright. No, don't hit Sahoni three times and cause negligible damage each time. You fiend! You blew it up. I have this skill maxed out. Why is the accuracy of it still so piss poor? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Well, hammer hits P hammer hits one person very hard. It's kind of an okay skill. Ah, uh, boy. So. That arm. <laughs> yes, this is how you get this the statue arm, which you need to make the best axe, which I don't remember the name of offhand. But it needs to die in one shot. And it's going to of course be the most annoying asshole in the universe about the about, about the whole process. You have to okay, you have to recharge. Which is fine, actually. Let's use another one of these Amritas. No. No, because he'll use the TP um, this turn. And then if we do that, we can fix it up. Don't punch Sony three times. It's not going to do anything to him. We'll actually boost the, uh, the attempt at this time. <laughs> Maybe it'll... <laughs> Maybe it'll work better, I don't know. Who knows. Boost is kind of a weird mechanic. What are the, what, what, what's the percentile chance of this working? It has to be, like, decent, right? I've put a lot of points into this skill by now. Why isn't it working? Well, the other alternative is a much more annoying route, which is the, um, you have to get a Dark Hunter, because the Dark Hunter get abilities that bind all of an opponent's body parts, and if they do that, then, um, they are, uh, they are allowed to, uh, instantly kill them with, with, with another one of their skills. It's quite useful, but it takes a long time to build up, and you have to put a lot of points into things. And of course, Mugen is now blind. But he has to put a buff on, so that's actually pretty okay. Uh, defend. <sighs> aren't you glad? Aren't you guys glad I, glad I dragged you along to do to see this? I know you are. Uh, next turn we'll heal Mugen's. Uh, I guess just reapply your stance this turn. Oh boy. 
This was so much easier in a previous attempt. Of course, when I wasn't recording, I tried that. If I were smart, I would have uh, started recording after the the instant kill and just said, "Yes, that's that's how it happened." Up, oh, yep, there we go. Killed instantly with an killed instantly with an Isen attack. Ha <laughs> ha! And we get the statue arm. Good for us. That only took too freaking long. <laughs> it might be. Hmm. Well, I should be reading this, shouldn't I? Whoops. <laughs> I forgot what I used to do. Probably. Probably to get us killed. But we got the statue arm, so it wasn't was it wasn't a total loss. And now, since I'm lazy and I don't want to waste any more of your time, we're just gonna warp wire. Then we're gonna go and sell this arm to show you the best axe in the game: the meteor axe. Not to be confused with the less meaty axe. Sell all those other things. Alright, so, the Meteor Axe. That's very expensive, but it's but it has effect, but it has effectively 254 damage, which compared to the uh, Duragar, I think it's actually actually a lot higher. Yes, this is only 214, so it actually does have a lot more damage already, which is good. Let's go turn this quest in. Get my $3,000 for uh, almost dying to a statue and wasting all of your times. Alright, so why did he want me to lose my life in the forest? Ah, that's why. He wanted me to go kill it. Well, we did it. Hmm. Nope, it was too late, but we got it anyway, so... Yeah, I, I suppose so. Alright. Well, that was that. Thank you, Mugen. You were very helpful. Let's get my party back. Rain's vacation is over anyway. Yes, finally. Well, I need to go grind for that axe now. And among other things, grind Kira back to her regular level, and all of that kind of nonsense. Oh, before I forget, um, we didn't, we, we didn't see the golem's bullshit ability, which is really obnoxious. Um, it's a move called regen. Basically, he starts rege regenerating health every turn, as you'd imagine, but if you manage to kill him when he, when, uh, when regen is active, he, he revives and has half health. Yeah. It's really awful. I... It's one of the worst moves in the game. But there was that. We have the statue arm now. Woo! Okay, I'm, I'm going to go grind some more and finish all this stuff. And then hopefully next time we'll be back to go try Primeval again. So hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you next time, whenever that's going to be, with more Let's Play Eternal Odyssey. So till then, till then, okay?